nation. The people that I shall tell these things to tonight, providing the Spirit of God anoints me to do so, I have not prearranged anything with them. I've never talked with them before in my life. I've never seen some of them before in my life. No one in this audience or anywhere else has told me a thing about these people, anything about their private life or their names or their infirmities or situations in life. But there is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets. Do you believe that? And here is a woman whom I've never seen before, and I was very cautious about this. I asked her if I'd ever prayed for her before, and she said that I had. But she just came up to be prayed for, just as many hundreds of others have, in the services where we have our mass healing prayers. And she admits that I have no way of knowing what's wrong with her, only by the Spirit of God. Is that right? Absolutely right. Praise the Lord. Let me have your hand. Now, knowing that we are in the very presence of the Lord, and no human being or no mortal power could reveal anything to me about your body that is relative to sickness or disease, but by the Spirit. Isn't that right? Absolutely right. Now, Mother, if I am sent to the Lord to help you, then I'll be able to tell you what's wrong with you, because the Lord called me to that specific ministry. You have had an affliction that has come from an accident that you've received 24 years ago. You were injured in an accident. Is that right? In, in roller skates on an accident. And you've hurt your bank and your hip. Is that right? That's absolutely right. Would I have any way of knowing that? Absolutely not. And I see you as you've injured yourself. You hurt your right hip and your back. Is that right? Right. Now, Mother, if I know this, it must come from the Lord or from some source that's blessed. Isn't that true? And you're going to be healed of this back injury. It causes you to, you're, you've been nauseated so much. Yeah. Almost constantly. You get sick uh, very frequently. You feel that they're, they're attacks, that's right. And now the Lord is healing you right now. If you'll believe according to your faith, so be it unto you. Father, in Jesus' sweet, precious, darling name, heal this mother of this back injury that causes this terrible, nauseating feeling that comes to her body so frequently with these attacks. In Jesus' name, thou art made whole according to your faith. Praise him for it. Praise him. Hallelujah. Now you look at me, Mother. Now you know that this can't be guesswork. It is of the Lord. That's true. Hallelujah. Now you actually, now don't tell me if you didn't, but you actually felt the warm sensation of the presence of God go into your bosom and down through your body and healed your back. Is that right? I feel it down my back. Praise to the heart. Hallelujah. Go and be made everyone whole. Hallelujah. How long have you been sick? Is it your mother? Can you understand him? How long has your daughter been sick? About three weeks. The Lord knows what's wrong with her, doesn't he? I've never seen you before, have I? But the Lord knows all about it. Look at me, mother. God is on the revealing hand tonight. He can heal. There's hope for people like you and me. We've been sick before. We've found no physician. We've found no solution to remedies that would cure our ailments. But there is a physician in Israel. There is a bomb in Gilead. You believe it, don't you? Your little child is going to be healed. She has a kidney disorder, and also she's had very weak spells. That she has fainting spells with her blood count it's very low she's healed now praise him for it with all your heart hallelujah praise him audience my daughter you believe the lord with all your heart don't you sister the lord knows your name he knows who you are he knows all about you i've seen you before but the lord will need you now you look at me sister the lord knows all that you've gone through and he knows that he has not permitted anything to come your way that you're not able to bear. 
or he's not able to heal you from. The devil affects the children of God, but the Lord is the healer. May I tell you anything the Lord might reveal to me? You have had a bother of fear of dying. You feel that you're going to die very soon. Now, I am not guessing, but you have been worried constantly and fretted day and night. You have lost numbers and numbers, and in fact, numbers of hours that cannot be counted. You have lost these hours of sleep because of the fear of death, right? That's right. That's correct. Do I have any way of knowing this? I don't think you do. Only through the Lord. No one has told me, I mean, and you have not told me, but the Lord. That's correct. All right. Now, in the name of Jesus, you are going to be healed. You will not die. You shall live, and you shall be made whole. The Lord spoke words to this through Isaiah, to the prophet. Isaiah came the message for Hezekiah the king. You shall live and not die. If those words ever were spoken from the lips of a compassionate God, he has the same love for you as he had for Hezekiah. There's no respect your person. And the Lord says you shall live and not die. You believe it too, don't you? Your old heart trouble's gone. Lift your hands and praise him. Praise him, audience. Mother, look at me. The Lord is going to heal you if you believe with all your heart. Do you believe? I certainly do. You certainly do. You've suffered a long time, and he's able to heal you. How long have you been sick? About 10 years. Do you believe he knows about it? You hope so. Well, I think he can prove it to your faith tonight and to your belief. Right? You hope so. All right, Mother. He knows about your blood pressure. He knows about your heart. He knows about your kidney trouble and bladder trouble. He knows about everything that's wrong in your body. And he's going to do something about that right now. Do you believe it? Now, look. You're, you're, you, you, you close your eyes right now. Now, look. I'm going to show you. If you believe this new visitation is from God that has come to my life. You do believe that, don't you? I do. You do. I want you to close your eyes and think in your heart. You don't have to use your mind. If, you can, if some people know how to think from their heart, I believe you do. You think in your heart what you want the Lord to do for you physically, more than anything else in this world right now. You think what you want him to heal you of right now and see if he doesn't reveal it to me. Glory to God. You believe it? <laughs> All right. Have you thought it? Yes. I know you have. And you know what your prayer was to the Lord? Lord, heal my vision. Is that right? That is right. Is that absolutely right? That's right. You know, the Lord showed me that, don't you? Yes, I do. Praise God. Your sight has been failing for the past few years. You haven't been able to see hardly at all out of one of your eyes. This eye right here. All right. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I believe God to heal you now. I demand through the authority of the words of Jesus that this cataract on this right eye of the child of God, this cataract shall fade away by her faith in the living, working, healing power of God in Christ. Hallelujah! Praise him for it. Now look at it. Hold this other eye. There's no pain in that eye. You can see out of that eye now. Is that can, right? I can. You can see wonderfully and perfectly right now. Is that I right? Can. And you the can. pain has completely gone. Say that again. The pain has completely gone. The devil always attends our meeting. Would you tell him that? <laughs> Would you tell him that again? Yeah. Is the pain all gone? The pain is all gone. And you can see? I can. Praise God. What are you waiting on? Say a hallelujah. God bless you, Mother. Just a little more faith. You love the Lord, don't you? You have prayed for faith in your life. You want faith. You want to believe Him. You want to do His work. You want His healing power. Right now, in the marvelous name of Jesus Christ, I bind the ailments and afflictions in your body according to the Word of God that whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Thou art set free in Jesus' name. Sister, you must believe that you're free. And he whom Jesus Christ sets free is free indeed. For years you have not had the liberty in your heart and life that you once had. You want it. You have no spirit of prayer. 
you haven't been able to pray like you used to pray. Isn't that right? That's right. Is this guesswork or is this the discernment of God? Discernment of God. All right. You have length and you have cried and prayed that God would give you the travail you once had. You used to get on your knees and cry all the time and beg God to save your family and to save souls. Isn't that right? That's right. And will you confess to me in this audience that you don't do that like you used to? Isn't that right? That's right. And God is giving you that spirit that you had once before of travail and intercessory prayer. That's what your gift was. The Lord gave it to you to pray a lot that way. And now you're burdened. You're condemned with things you're not even guilty of, sister. Isn't that right? That's right. You have constant condemnation. You don't even know whether you're saved or not sometimes. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. Hallelujah! In Jesus' name, thou demon of torment, come out! Spirit of fear, come out! And I pray that the Holy Spirit will come back into this life anew, baptizing you again in the baptism of love, in the baptism of intercessory prayer in Jesus' name. Receive ye a refilling of the Holy Ghost. Praise Him, and your afflictions are gone. You believe. As sure as your name is Emily Wall, just as sure as your husband's condition has troubled you for many, many years, you've worried constantly, Mother, because you feel your husband's going to be lost. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? <laughs> you want God to save him. You're worried about your son. You wonder if, may I say anything? Will you give me permission to say anything? You're wondering if the outcome will be that your son will turn to God. And the Lord knows all about it. He sees him now in that little home in San Diego. He sees his wife. He sees the trouble. There's been a broken home. Isn't that right? That's true. Oh, God help you, Mother. He's going to save that boy. He's going to bring that boy into his presence and save him. For you have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. And your house, your husband has had this terrible operation, will not only be healed, but will be saved for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Do you believe it? The little Joanne will be saved. And the little girl, her sister, will be saved. And even her mother lives in Pasadena, right? Praise him for it. <laughs> Praise him, audience, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, every person in this audience will bow his knee to God and say, The Lord, he is the God. The Lord, he is the God. The Apostle Paul of the Bible writes to the churches and he says to these churches that when we're all come together, we're not to speak in other tongues. The manifestation of the Spirit of speaking in other tongues should not be overdone. But if we all prophesy, such has been the case tonight, then the sinner, the unbeliever, the unlearned will fall on his face and worship God and report that God is in us of a truth, right? People are going to exclaim, we have never seen it on this fashion before. People are going to say, this is the power of God. And I want you in the television audience to write to me this week and tell me that God has been present in your home by spirit, power, to set you free. Write to me, Evangelist Paul King, Post Office Box 1191, Hollywood, thank you. God bless you, Reverend. Thank you. Seated, please. How many of you have heard of Ronnie's beautiful, wonderful, miraculous gift from God? Let me see your hand. Just about everybody in this visible audience, you have heard of this great gift. This is his mother, Mrs. Cohn, who loves God with all of her heart for delivering this child of an affliction that he should carry throughout his life. But by the grace of God, he now sees by the healing, miraculous power or gifted power, I do not know just which, Ronnie sees. As good as any other child his age, physicians, specialists, have given us documented statements that they believe it is phenomenal. They do not comment as to what source it comes from. Many of them do not say 
Some have said it is the power of God. Others have said it's only a strain, a thing that cannot be explained. You'll have to arrive at an explanation from the demonstration itself. The only difference between what the Lord does for me sometimes and what he's doing for Ronnie, Ronnie, uh, he gets it one way and I get another. But it's the Lord either way, isn't that right? And I think this is one of the most wonderful demonstrations of God's supernatural that I've ever seen in my life. Here, Ronnie, what is this? Operator's License, California, number W1038316. Is that right, dear brother? That's right. That was your wife that was just up here. I think. Praise the Lord. What does that say, Ronnie? Doris and Clarence Valentine produces present three cornered pants. Well, brother, did you come here to advertise? That's wonderful. That's very cute. God bless you. All right. Stand over here, Ronnie. We want this prepared for the television audience. It will be edited, this film. And how many of you think it's going to make a tremendous impression? Do you? All right. Come right on, brother. Say amen. amen. Enable you to learn what your gifts are and how to use them. God bless you, brother. Now, I think we'll have this one more. Now, Ronnie, cover your eye good and turn this over, please. You saw that side. I was a skeptic, but I want to be sure. <laughs> there you are, Ronnie. What does that say? Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know uh, three times who Jesus is. <laughs> say praise the Lord. That was our little chorus sheet, and we're supposed to sing that three times. You believe it's a miracle? Yeah. Ronnie, will you promise me in my presence and in the presence of the Lord that you will never let anything interfere by the grace of God in your life that you will serve him and preach the gospel as I beg of you to do for the call of God is upon you. Will you promise me you'll shun worldly pleasures and denounce the world and live for God and win America for God through this gift? Will you promise me that in his presence? Yes, sir. Well, praise the Lord, audience. God bless you, Ronnie. In Jesus' name, may his testimony forever be a beacon light and a real source of blessing and deliverance to millions of lost people in America and anywhere he may go to witness for our wonderful Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's stand and praise the Lord again. Now, Ronnie, I want you to read what this brother has on this card, knowing that you can only see by the Spirit of God out of the eye that has no eyeball in it, just an empty socket. Evangelism, Home, and Church. Bill Luke, Director. Are you any kin to the Apostle Luke? By the grace of God. We're all brothers. <laughs> Say amen. amen. Well, this is a promise the Lord has given you. All right, see if you can read it. You're doing it for your sister's sake. Well, God bless your sister. And I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there, that there am I in the midst of them. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And it's so, too. Sister, you go back and tell your sister that I said that that was true, and God bless her heart. All right. We won't put that on television. <laughs> Quite funny. Cover that up real good now. I usually hold a corner of it because skeptics will say, well, he, he, he just peeked out of that little hole because... Uh, and it, He's just doing that just for a show. And I'll usually take the corner and put it way over like that. Isn't that wonderful? 
You old skeptics, say amen. <laughs> Come right on. Take anything out and present it to Ronnie. April the 12th, 2.30. Has reserved time for it. <laughs> you believe that, brother? That's right, brother. God. You believe he could see? Sure can. It's the Lord. It is the Lord. It is the Lord. Ronnie, would you mind taking the eye out, the plastic eye? Would you hold it up where the people can see it? You see that very thick plastic eye that cannot be seen through in the natural. He has no growth in this socket. He can't see only by supernatural. We claim. Say amen. amen. All right, cover this eye up good again. Come right on, brother. He wouldn't let me have it. I'm a preacher. He has money in it. <laughs> Would you read that, Ronnie? Operator's License, California. Number B913012. Is that right, brother? Right. Sure. Did you have that eye covered up good? Would you like to take a look in that empty eye? What do you see? He sees something, though. Praise the Lord. Come right on, sister. Close that eye, it's good. Tell the audience what you have at your hand and what's on it. I have a social security card and the number is 096-20-9628. And the name is Grace Russo. Hallelujah. Is that right, sister? Yes. How did he do that? How You really believe that? What impression has this made on your life? You want to learn, learn more about the Lord, don't you, and serve him all the rest of your life. I believe that's right, isn't that right? Pardon me for taking the words out of your mouth. Say amen. amen. Close your eyes, good. All right. Now, what is that, Ronnie? It's a picture of Paul Kane, and it says, Welcome to Paul Kane Revival. Sing with us. I thought for a minute that picture would frighten him. It did me, but it was all right. <laughs> God bless you. Sister, do you believe that? Amen. Come right on. Close your eye up good now. Now, what's on this that you have in your hand? Mrs. A.J. Sabu. Sabu. Uh, 2127 West, West 6th Street. Los Angeles, California. My dear brother, did he have his eye covered up good? Yes, sure did. Did he tell you what was on that? He told me absolutely. Say praise the Lord. That it substantiates my belief all of it. I think it does yours too. Say amen. Cover your eye up good. That isn't a lovely thing out before you get here. Now, Ronnie, would you cover your good eye up? That's right. Audience, move your hand up a minute, Ronnie. Would you look and see that this handkerchief is placed well over the bridge of his nose here and he can't peep out through, the, through his good eye. He can't see through the handkerchief for it is a full-size man's handkerchief and it's very thick and I can't see through it. In fact, you can't even begin to see the first, through the first uh, weaving of it. It is very thick and nobody can see through it. How many of you believe that I'm telling the truth? Don't you call me a liar. You'll have God to reckon with. <laughs> You believe I'm truthful with you? All right, we're covering Ronnie's eye with this. I have nothing to gain by this. You have everything in the world to gain. It's your faith to be edified. I already believe God. What I want to do is stir your faith and your zeal for God. You who have not really trusted the Lord with all of your heart. There is it, sister. All right. Get, give him something else, sister. I can't read that myself. It's, it's, it's all right. The woman writes fine, but that's all right. How many of you believe he can see all right now? Say amen. That's all right. Just anywhere there. That's all right. Now, what do you read, Ronnie? Uh, the first chapter of Romans. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated into the gospel of God. 
Hallelujah. Did you know that Ronnie is going to be a great preacher? Did you know that? I predict, in cooperation with the spirit of prophecy, that through this marvelous gift of God, that Ronnie will become one of the nation's outstanding evangelists in days to come. And all the demons in hell, all the worldly allure and pleasure cannot entice him from what God has given him. Say amen. amen. Your eye closed up good? Reverend Jesse Jacobson, Box 103, Southgate, California. Is that right? Perfect. Hallelujah. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. Cover your eye up good. John Henry Seal. 1213 West 38, Los Angeles 70, Los Angeles 37, California. Is that right, Mother? Yeah. What do you think about that? Oh, I have always believed that I've heard all of it good, but I can't see. Well, I thought you were some of the other skeptics. I know you do. To examine my mother and reveal to her the horrible condition of cancer, TB, and tumors that prevented my birth. And I'll also send you the, the amazing testimony on the printed page of my mother's miraculous healing, divinely ministered of God by an angel of the Lord God Almighty. An angel stood at her bedside. We claim that this angel spoke to my mother and said, Daughter, be of good cheer. You shall live and not die. And the fruit of your womb is a male child, and he shall be born, and shall preach my gospel in the spirit of the Apostle Paul of old. We claim that the Spirit of the Lord ministered in this fashion to my mother in the year 1929. Write to me, Paul King, Post Office Box 1191, Hollywood 28, California. I'll be happy to send you this amazing testimony as soon as we receive your letter. And now, here is my darling, precious, sweet mother, a real source of inspiration to my heart and life, the backing and the foundation that I need in the material sense for my ministry, in the human sense. This wonderful, wonderful testimony of my mother has been given to countless thousands in America's largest gospel tents and auditoriums. Thousands have stood and rejoiced with her as she's given the testimony. She's asked me tonight on the telecast to give you this testimony myself, and she wants to appear and smile at you and say, Here I am. Though physician said, No, I should not live, God said, Yes, you shall live. You shall have a boy, and he shall be born, and shall preach my gospel in the spirit of Paul of old. Mother, are you still alive? I'm still alive, praise God, and I'm still here. After 25 years, I am still here. Oh, praise the Lord, I just praise him tonight that I am able to travel all the time. Oh, I want to spend the rest of my life a witness to my precious Lord that did so much for me. Now, it's going to be 26 years ago since I was so glorious to him. How the Lord come to my bedside, and all hopes that I'm all gone, that I should ever be well anymore. Oh, praise his only name tonight. He come to my bedside. He laid his hand on my shoulder. He told me I should live. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. He told me I could live. He told me I could live. Hallelujah. Oh, I believed him. I believed him. I'm glad I believed him. Praise God. I'm glad I believed him. Nothing dangerous now. I believe God. I believe God that this boy would be born. I believe that you'd be a preacher. Just like your pastor Paul of old. Oh, hallelujah, I'm having preached so much. Glory to God. I'm so glad I'm able to go from place to place. Oh, to not to make you a witness to the man that sent his angel, that healed me to raise me off for this bed. Glory to <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How many of you believe it? Say amen. amen. And in the television audience, I'm sure you believe this. 
If you don't know what she's doing now, she's praising the Lord just like the Methodists, the Baptists, and the other churches used to do and still do when they get what she has. Hallelujah! Glory to God! She isn't beyond dancing like the old Methodists do or the Baptists or the Presbyterians or the Assemblies of God or anybody else, Catholic, Protestants, or Jews who get the power of the Holy Spirit in their lives. Glory! Hallelujah! Now, the Lord said that I would be born. How many of you skeptics in the visible audience and in the television audience believe I've been born? Say, ah. <laughs> How many of you believe my mother's alive and well? Well, she claims she is, and I believe she is, and I certainly feel very much alive, and I preach extemporaneously, having never attended a viable theological seminary in my life, having no preparation for the gospel of Jesus Christ except the whole armor of God. God bless you. Stand and praise the Lord in the visible audience and in television areas. Reach out and touch the hem of his garment spiritually now. And be healed in Jesus' name. And right